guys let's have a quick look at the original version of internet ruined me by wilbur suit all right and now i actually got a guitar tutorial of the song uh, and i actually mentioned in that video that it was more of like a beginner version where i just showed you some open chords to play if you just want to sing along but a lot of you guys were actually complaining about the actual chords so here i am with the studio version uh, which i do think we will play all the way like that i'm gonna show you that breakdown in the most easy way possible though he uses some weird chord shapes but never mind it's gonna be super easy so the guitar is in the stand chaining we have no capo as you can see uh, grab a thin pick and let's get started uh, we're gonna finish up with the chord shapes firstly so this is the first chord Just have a look at it. So what I'm doing basically is I'm having my index finger, and I'm actually now don't complain that I can't play power chords. You have to play. Since in the previous video you guys asked for the studio version, you guys were complaining that I never showed you the actual uh, chords. Uh, those are the wrong chords. Therefore, I am here with the original. So we got the index finger bar on the seventh fret of the A D G B. Four strings, right? Gonna sound like this. Make sure to get that bar beautifully. And now you're gonna put your ring finger on the ninth fret of that A string, and your pinky on the ninth fret of the G string. So uh, it's kind of like um, what I say. We got an F sharp on the bass, and then we have this this chord. Really don't know the name of the chord that properly. Never mind, we're just gonna go without the chord name. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna follow this. So you're just gonna have this chord shape, you're just gonna hold that and do one, two, three, four. So down, 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 down. And I'm having nine, seven, nine, seven. Thus I'm just hitting that ADGB string. I'm going down, 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 down on that chord. So you got like this down, 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 and now you're just gonna have the exact same chord shape. You're just gonna lift off your ring finger. So now you have seven, seven, nine, seven. So you just lift off your ring finger, and now you do a uh, up, down, up, down, down. So on this chord shape, you do up, down, up, down, down. So you got down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. So we have down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, right? And now you're just gonna move on to a D major bar chord, which is simply having your index finger on the A string fifth fret, and then your pinky or maybe your ring finger, your choice. You can just put that to bar the seventh fret of the D G B. And now you're gonna do four dance over here. One, two, three, four. Gonna go to an A major chord, and it's okay if you just play the A major chord like five. Seven, seven, six. Till the G string. You don't have to bar that high E string and B string. It's okay. So you just gonna do a up, down, up, down, down on the A major, like this. So we got down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. And now we have this D major seven. D major sus. D major six. D major 7 6 so quite tricky uh, but this chord sounds super good and it's easy to play but the name is kind of confusing so we won't be bothering on to that so we have 5th fret on the A, 7th uh, fret on the D, G string 4th fret sorry G string 6th fret I'm very sorry gonna sound like this and now the B string is open and what you're gonna do at the beginning is at the beginning, the B string is muted, so you are only hitting the A, D, G, 5, 7, 6. You're doing down, down, down. So 1, 2, 3. And it's kind of getting louder. Da, da, da. So we have 1, 2, 3. Again, 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3. Mute. 1, 2, 3. Mute. By saying mute, I just lift my fingers up to get the sound of the chord muted. Like this. Da, 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 da. And then the next time you're just going to go. Da, da. You're gonna do two down strokes on that chord shape, and then you're gonna play the B string open. You're gonna play 
the B string open, G string 6th fret, D string 7th fret. So you go. Again, do. Gonna hit that B string open. And then quickly gonna move on to the next chord shape. So let me show you that D major 7 all around again. So D major 7, 5, 7, 6, you go. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. One more time. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Then you have 1, 2. Again. Then you have a B minor 7 chord. You got your index finger bar on the 7th fret. You're gonna bar the whole 7th fret and then you're gonna put your ring finger again on that 8th string 9th fret. You're gonna do a up, down, up. And you're mainly hitting the E, A, D, G, B string. You don't have to bother about the high E string much about this song. So you got up, down, up. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. You can just do anything you want over here. So slowly if I play it from the very beginning, this is what the main guitar part of the song sounds like. I'm just gonna show you that version, uh, that part where uh, we just gonna get along with the singing. And then again at the middle we have this part going on. So this is the main part, that's the reason it goes a couple of times in the song. So we have... So you guys see I actually made a mistake by hitting that high E string. So it will be better if you just pull off that high E string from your guitar and play without a high E. That will be quite easy because you don't have to mute the strings. This is a B minor 7 chord, I just played it like this, it's the same thing. One more time. That's the main part of the song. So I hope it's quite clear. Uh, definitely it's quite tricky because uh, we have some uh, new chord shapes out over here but uh, you just need to practice a little bit and you'll get everything. And now let's talk about the whole song. It's just basically revolving around the D major 7 chord and that A major chord. So what you're gonna do is gonna have that 5th fret on the A, 7th uh, fret on the D, 6th fret on the G, and palm it, palm is having this part of your hand in front of the bridge of the guitar, right over here, got a very soft sound. And you're gonna do this, palm it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And they're gonna change your bass note to the top E string, 5th fret, so it's the A major chord right now. The A string is muted right now, but the top E string is 5th fret. So when you come to an A major chord, the A string will be muted with the index finger. So 5, mute, 7, 6. And you're gonna go for 1, 2, 3, four, 1, 2, 3, 4. You can just try out any string pad you want. Down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down, down. And sometimes we move, we actually move on to this chord back, 9-7-9-7. So this is a very favorite chord of Willow for this song. So we have, and then we come back to that part where we just have this. Guys, that was basically everything you need for the song. I hope this video was actually helpful. If then, don't forget to drop you one of these. Subscribe to the channel if you just want to learn any other song by Weber Suit. Make sure you drop a comment down below. I'm gonna do it as fast as possible. And also let me know down in the comment below if you have any doubt regarding any of the cost shapes because these cost shapes are actually a little bit tricky, so they're gonna take a little bit time for you guys to master. That's it. Keep practicing hard. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Till then, bye.